not, and it shall be given him. Do you know what that word upbraideth means? Anyone? All I can think of is a horse with a bridle on. Okay. That's all I can think that means of. that God, if you ask for wisdom, God will not rebuke you severely. Reproach. That means that means to rebuke or to receive severely or bitterly. It means to scold. God's not going to get mad at you for asking for wisdom. Okay? He's wanting us to have an unwavering faith or confidence in the Lord. We have got so many in the world that are so wishy-washy, you don't know what they believe from one minute to the next. We're hoping that if you do the right thing, we hope that Zach will not only do that about an accident that he was in, but may that continually to follow, whether he's at a swimming pool or wherever else, do what is right. Just continue to do it. It may not look, it may not be favorable at times, but it will pay off in the long run. Do what's right. He said, I don't want you wavering. When it comes to serving the Lord, if you're going to ask Him for something, then Mr. You better be asking and ask straight. That's right. Amen. Don't waver. Nothing wavering. He wants, he wants steady, constant faith and confidence in what God's going to do. My mother, again, I've talked about her in the hospital this morning with, with the family that's laying there dying with, uh, their husband's dying with, with cancer. I said, my mother found it. They was at my mother's funeral. They saw her praising the Lord, and they said that he's been doing the same thing. Everything will be all quiet, and all of a sudden his hands will go in the air, and he'll begin to praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We're learning, I hope, to have some unwavering faith. Do you know that people in this area, though they don't come to the church, they still expect me to be the preacher? They've never given me a dime to further our ministry in any way, shape, or form. But let me tell you, when trouble comes, and they want something, they can't find a pastor anywhere, and they call me, they have expectations. They don't want me just coming out from under a drunk. They don't expect me to show up to the hospital and stand outside and, and button my cigarette. Why? They expect a man of God to stay steady. You can't be wishy-washy if you're going to be in the ministry. And I would tell others uh, that want to be in the ministry, if you're going to get in there, get in there and stay steady. Everything is not always hunky-dory, but we have to hang in there. Hello? If I do, you do. God expects that of people. Quit your wavering. And I want to talk about that word just a little bit. Uh, I've got some definitions if you're ready to go with me. <laughs> To waver in, in, in verse number six. Well, let, let me read that again in, in that in the. Uh...